we have time for one more phone call. And since we're getting a call from Dublin, and that doesn't happen here every day, Ellen in Dublin, you're on WNYC with the President of Ireland. Hello, Ellen. Hi, Brian. Thanks for taking my call. I normally live in Manhattan, but I am in Dublin. And I understand that President Higgins is a big supporter of Irish neutrality. So I'm wondering why the Irish government is allowing U.S. military flights to go through Shannon Airport in violation of that neutrality, bringing troops to the Middle East to the wars that caused the refugees he's been talking about. And also about the case of two U.S. veterans who did a peaceful protest against those flights in March, and they've been held in Ireland ever since without their passports on very minor charges for a peaceful protest. Yes, I think that your caller will know that these are issues upon when I was a member of Parliament. I spoke and acted very often. I do think uh, I do I do think we should try that the issue of the two people with whose case I, I am familiar. It's a matter for government, and I will draw the attention of government to it. But you will appreciate that as president, I cannot interfere in the executive decisions of government. Irish President Michael D. Higgins got it in both barrels today in New York City. First, he was on a public radio station in the morning with Brian Lehrer, and a caller from Dublin, myself, asked him why, if he was such a supporter of Irish neutrality, he let the U.S. government violate that neutrality, and also mentioning the case of our two veterans. We are just in the Mila Kupas, thank you very much. It's her honor. God bless you. Then, in the afternoon, after a speaking engagement at the New York City Public Library, New York City Veterans for Peace Chapter President Susan Schnall, a Navy nurse from the Vietnam War, and Ken Mayer's granddaughter, Zadie Cooper Barnard Mayers, went to him afterwards and handed him a brochure and also mentioned the case. He said he was familiar with their Walk for Peace and would do what he can. We're talking about you. 